Hello everyone and welcome to my review of The Legend of Tarzan, which I saw in 3D XD with a really good friend. So shout out to my friend I haven't seen in three years. It was nice to spend some time with you and watch a movie. I hope you enjoyed it and let's talk about it right now. So what is The Legend of Tarzan about? Well, it's not an origin story, which I'm pretty happy to say. I'm really happy it's probably the my favorite aspect of the movie that it wasn't an origin story even though the movie does go back into the past and we learn a little bit of what tarzan did to become tarzan but this movie is centered in the future of whatever happened in the past with tarzan he's with jane they're married he lives a really nice life but something pulls him back where he has to save the day Jane is in trouble, but she's not a damsel in distress. She's a woman that can take care of herself. Also in the movie, well, I should say, who's Tarzan? Who's Tarzan? Of course. Alexander Sarsgaard, a really great actor, loving True Blood and some other stuff. And then Margot Robbie, who I really, really like and admire. And she, not only is she a, a pretty woman, but she's a really good actress as well. And I'm looking forward to her in Suicide Squad. Uh, also in the film is Samuel Jackson, who becomes kind of a friend and uh, compadre to Tarzan, and then Christoph Waltz plays the bad guy. There's a lot of other plot that happens that involves other natives, some good natives, some bad natives, some diamonds, betrayal, kidnapped, slaves, all this stuff. There's just all this stuff going on in the jungle, the Congo, Africa... Uh, I'm not going to get into it. But anyways, how was the film? How was it at least enjoyable? Because I felt that the trailers led us to believe that this was going to be a magical and wonderful adventure. I do want to mention that this is the first film in five years that director David Yates has made. Though this is the first of two movies that he has coming out this year. And I'm really looking forward to his next movie. I'm definitely looking forward to it. looks like it's going to be fantastic, and I can't wait to find it when it comes out. So this is the first of two movies that he's directing, and I like him as a director. I think he's gotten better. You know, uh, he, he was okay with the first Harry Potter movie that he made, but I enjoyed where he went with the rest of the Harry Potter films, and I'm excited what he's going to go do, what he's done next, which is coming out soon. But how was The Legend of Tarzan? That's what we're talking about here. Good. I don't know what else I can say. I think the movie's good. Good visuals, some good action. I saw it in 3D. I would not I would say that you don't see, need to see the entire movie in 3D, but it's nice when they're, you know, he's hanging on the vines and going through the jungles and the great special effects with the animals, the gorillas and the tigers and the bears. Oh my, well, I didn't see any bears. Maybe there was a bear. But anyways, I mean, they're is a lot of amazing visuals, and I think that's what held my attention the most. Yeah, there's a bad guy, and there's a clear good guy, and they've got something going on, and it's not really that interesting after a while, but you you can get into it, or you, or you won't. I mean, that's really, it's all up to you, of course, the audience member. But for me, the story was its weakest aspect. I just did not care about it. I didn't care about what the villain's motivation was. I didn't care... Uh, what happened to some of the characters because of the story. I just felt really emotionally detached to what was really happening to our characters or what motivated them to do whatever they needed to do on screen. But I did like the characters. I don't think there's a single character I didn't like in the film. Some of them I wish had more time or more character development. Alexander Sarsgaard was fine as Tarzan. He actually was somewhat convincing as he interacts with the animals that were great. The animals were the greatest actors on the entire screen. I, 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 was, I believed every animal, whether it was CGI or not, was a real animal. I was really convinced. Uh, so, you know, Alexander's fine in the movie. He wasn't annoying or anything. Uh, he it felt like he did his job. Uh, Margot Robbie uh, was really great on, on screen. I, I really cared about her. I cared about her character, though... I don't feel we really got to know her that much. I wish we had some more time with her on screen. Samuel Jackson's character was probably my favorite person in the whole film. I just like how he got into this world, how he was involved, how he had to deal with the fact that Tarzan can do pretty much everything, and he's kind of stuck just trying to survive himself and added a lot of much-needed humor to the movie. 
Uh, so I thought Samuel Jackson was fine in the film as well. And I wish that Christoph Waltz, who was great at being a villain or just being a great actor, he is just, he's, he's an exceptional actor, I felt like his character just didn't get a chance to do much. A lot of it was just staring around, looking at the screen, and spouting out some dialogue. I do like some of his mannerisms, uh, uh, some of the things he did uh, with his body, but it felt like when it came to his his what he was going through, I, I almost felt like he didn't get a chance to do a lot on screen. I, I felt like he was wasted. I really do. I really feel like Christoph Waltz was wasting the film because he's such a great actor, and, and he can be a he can be such an amazing villain, and I just felt like he was just there to collect a paycheck. That's how I really felt about it. But overall, the movie is spectacular with its visuals. It looks great. The acting is okay. It's fine. Uh, you know, it's either good or you know, in some cases, it does uh, get a little interesting, especially from Samuel Jackson's point of view. Um, I, I do like uh, that the cast is uh, full of uh, all different kinds of people. It's not just a bunch of white people hanging out all the time, you know. So that's that was really nice. Uh, I do like. Uh, that uh, it covers some subjects about Africa and animals and slavery, uh, though it doesn't come off as preachy or over the top or in your face. Uh, but I just wish I was more emotionally connected with the story. I wish I really cared because a lot of this stuff really worked well, especially in the special effects and production department. Um, it, the movie just looks great. And the 3D... You know, as I said before, there are moments that it worked and other times where it, it was unnecessary and I didn't feel it at all. So if you really want to see this film, I recommend seeing it in 2D. You may enjoy it, you may not. But for me, I thought it was a good, decent, solid movie that I would maybe like to see more if they do make more. If they don't and we move on and then it's years from now where we get another Tarzan movie... I hope we get a movie that continues the Tarzan story without telling us the same old story we've done before, which I'm really glad this film uh, does not. I'm glad it does not go into the origin story in the sense that it tells you the straight story of Tarzan that we've seen a hundred times before. We do get hints about it in the film, but overall this movie is trying to just tell the continuation of Tarzan and his further adventures in life with his love of his life, Jane. So... Good film, nothing too amazing in my opinion, but something definitely worth seeing about once. And for that, I'm going to give The Legend of Tarzan in 3D, I'm going to give it three stars out of four. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel. And also, please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day. Live film. Find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do. And I'll talk to you at my next movie review.